Hi, I'm Tim Barch, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford Salon in Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2024 Ford Bronco. We're working our way through the complete guide video playlist here on all the different Broncos. We have uh, gone through about all the trim levels. Uh, we've come to the Raptor for this episode, so we're going to go ahead and go through all the standard equipment plus the different options that are available for you including standalone options in this video. It's be a very lengthy video, but we'll cover everything. So that way, if you're wanting to put in a Raptor order with a dealer that has an allocation, you got to know a little bit about how you can order that. So we're going to cover all that. So use the timestamps down below uh, for that. Now, this is for 24 model year, and uh, we the order banks are open up right now. Uh, but again, the way Raptor allocations work is the dealership has to have an available allocation, or that order will never be looked at for scheduling. Uh, and that's typically how it works. So like Ford actually just got an email today that we have one allocation for September uh, coming up, and we need, to, we need to let them know what order number we want selected for that one allocation. And that's usually how that will work. And then so we have a customer's order in our order bank, then we would give them that order number. We usually do it by the first one that's in there and then go on down for the next time we have another allocation. So this last month we had about three allocations, uh, this month just one. So uh, because of that, Raptor is a very limited run and how many is produced each year. And that's why typically you will see those go for a little more than MSRP at most dealerships um, because of that reason. So there's a very exclusive number of, of vehicles that are built so we are gonna but you are able to do that so a little information about that and how that works at those dealers now keep in mind uh we can put a raptor or a order in for you uh again we have one allocation right now but uh we have till september 7th to fulfill that one and then we'll get other ones each month and such so um but that is for 23 model year so we're talking about 24 so a different year different model year because uh scheduling was going to start probably in next month for that or the month after i should say uh so this is a little bit more information uh, than you probably need for that but we're going to cover all the how these are equipped standard and everything in this video if you like videos like this hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell so you can be notified next time another video upload to the channel anything else let's go ahead and dive in we are going to use ford's build and price and kind of update you with anything that is not accurate to that on their website so click on over here and we'll show you that so if you go to ford.com and you click up here on the vehicles and uh cars suvs and cars should be highlighted and go on over to bronco so uh they did move this uh button that is the build and price button is down here now so click on that and then uh yeah just gonna we'll just put current location and then start your build and we acknowledge that so we have we have a video on the big ben black diamond heritage edition outer banks badlands everglades wild track we are skipping the heritage limited edition i'll tell you why in this video the reason we're skipping that is because you really don't get a choice to choose your configuration on that so a, every dealer gets one allocation for this and the dealer does not get to choose how they want it configured. So even though the order guide, you can start your build and everything, um, you really don't, uh, like for us, uh, basically Ford tells us, here's your configuration. You're going to get a blue uh, two-door, and this is what's going to come on it. We don't get a choice on that. So when you're probably going to have to look for a dealer and find out a dealer that's got the configuration you want, two-door, four-door and such, um, and that's usually probably how that's going to work. So I know some people said, hey, I have an order in for a Heritage Limited Edition. You know, back in 23, you could put in an order, but it doesn't mean it would get selected. Every dealer gets one and Ford tells you what you're going to get. That's why we're skipping that one, because really you can't order one. Um, OK, moving to the Raptor here. Uh, it is standard in your four door configuration. Uh, that's the only way to get that. Not available in two door, of course. Uh, going over here to the powertrain, kind of go over this. Uh, this is the only one that gets a different engine available. It is a standard engine. It's a 3.0 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. Uh, so this is really re ready to go. It's got the 10-speed automatic transmission. It will get the auto start-stop technology, which means you come up to stoplight, stop sign, press the brake. It's going to shut the vehicle off. You let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. Also, we do have the, this since it has a 10-speed automatic transmission, it's going to come standard with your trail turn assist, as well as your trail control. Those are all going to be included in that. And I don't have it in my notes whether or not you get one pedal trail, one pedal drive or not. Somebody let me know that. Put it down in the description because I might have missed that in my notes. Uh, but you're going to have some great technology in here uh, with this. Now, also, this is not correct. You're going to get the advanced four-wheel drive system uh, that is going to with the uh, auto uh, four-wheel drive uh, mode there where you can go in uh, auto four-by-four. 
It also comes standard and not really necessarily standard Sasquatch. It's going to come with the 4.7 gear ratio, giving you the front and rear locking differential that's going to come standard on this. This does get the Raptor Haas 4.0 suspension system with the uh, Fox live valve dampeners uh, suspension system in there. So this thing is just ready to go in all kinds of terrains. You will have terrain management system with the different goat modes. So you're going to have a normal mode, an eco mode, a sport, a slippery mud ruts. Uh, also, you get sand, rock crawl, and Baja mode for that too. So, also with this, you're going to get the electronic power assist steering, just like with all the other vehicles, uh, electronic stability control, electric parking brake, electronic traction control. You also get heel start assist with this. And uh, you do, uh, uh, so all those are going to come with this uh, on the vehicle as well. So, pretty cool on how all that list I actually had in here something else that's not in there <laughs> so i cross that off but pretty good this thing is ready to go and uh, is uh, ready to do some serious off-roading in there so as you'd expect now let's talk about some safety features and these are all the same as they were for the all the other um seven vehicle trim levels we've covered already uh so if you watch those you can probably go ahead and click that timestamp for the exterior features but for those that didn't watch that want to know here we go we have for the airbags, we have the driver and passenger dual stage front airbag deploys a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You also have driver and front passenger side seat mounted airbag. That's going to deploy from the side of the seat if you have that side collision. Safety canopy side curtain airbag as well with a rollover sensor. So if the vehicle is going to roll over, it's going to deploy that down. So hopefully the braking glass doesn't come in and hurt anybody. Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. Uh, so what that's going to do on this is pre-collision assist. It has a, has a collision warning sensor. Also, it has dynamic brake support. So it senses if there's someone in front of you going slower than you and you would hit them, it's going to alert you and let you know that series of tones and, and a flashing light on your screen. Uh, and then preloads those brakes. So then that way when you are... When you do uh, realize that and hit the brake, it's going to brake faster. Post-collision braking as well. So if you're unconscious, maybe you don't realize it, you didn't put it in park, it's going to brake the vehicle so you don't have a more severe accident. Advanced track with roll stability control as well. Uh, fancy uh, terminology, the whole goal is to keep you on your intended path. Uh, so it's going to use a series of brakes on the, uh, the right wheel to keep you going where you need to. Uh, child safety lock. Uh, as well for those rear uh, doors so that way they can't open those doors when you're when you don't want them to and we do have the primer alarm so when you lock the vehicle up it's going to secure that if someone tries to you know shake the vehicle try to you know raise the vehicle up and all it's going to set the alarm off honks the horns flashes the lights so that that way they can't uh, people know that they're trying to break into their vehicle so moving back here we're going to talk about the exterior features now so we're going to go to exterior and let's flip around to the front all right, so of course this is a really cool look. And so here on the front of the vehicle, we do have the grill. It's gonna be a carbonized gray painted grill with the, uh, of course you do get the marker lamps at the top up there and you're gonna have the black Ford lettering on the front of it. So it looks real sharp right up here. Uh, we do get a 360 degree camera on this. So you're gonna get a camera under the front, uh, the side mirrors, as well as the back. So you can see completely around your vehicle. That is gonna be standard equipment. Uh, so we do have with this in here, we do get the Lux. And the high Lux package is standard equipment on the Raptor for this year. So I uh, just want to make sure you guys know that. Uh, and that's some, uh, that is a feature that is included in that. So we do also have with this grill, active grill shutters. They're going to open and close when it needs to. You kind of see those down through there uh, to help cool off that engine. The bumper is going to be the Ford Performance um, heavy-duty modular front bumper with the rigid fog lights. So they're giving you those as well in there as standard equipment. Kind of jealous of that. we got the tow hooks up here on the front, as you can see on the grill. And you do get the front sensing system as well on the bumper. So as you pull into garages, different things like that, you're going to alert you and let you know as you're getting closer. You do have the heavy-duty full vehicle steel bash plate. You can kind of see the front one up here underneath to protect it while you do some serious off-roading. Unique LED headlights so they're a little bit they're going to be a different headlight for you than the other ones with the led signature lighting as well now they'll have the automatic features so when it's an auto setting it'll come on automatic when it gets dark shut off when it gets light um, we also do have configurable daytime running lights and then of course those rigid lights are going to have those led lights auto high beams as well so that means they'll come on automatic when, it, when it's really dark outside if you're in a city of lights or someone approaches you it'll automatically turn them off that is something you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen um all right the hood i'm going to talk about that for a second 
there we go we can see the hood in that image there so we do have the nice unique uh, uh ford raptor hood on this so i love this so uh, it does have uh, a great look to it um, as well as your vent your fenders over here so these are unique different fenders than you get on any of the other broncos with the, the fender vents as well too so help that 3.0 liter engine extract that heat out as fast as possible there um, now we do have for the wheels it'll be a 17 inch black high gloss painted alloy wheel uh, as you can see there the tire is gonna be a 37 by 12 so it's a 37 inch tire uh, all-terrain tire of course it comes with that so um so yes 37 that's pretty awesome individual tire pressure monitor system four wheel disc brakes with abs as well unique fenders for this year so this year they went to body colored fender flares so ford listened and uh, knew that people did not like the black ones so body colored fender flares on these high clearance as well and then of course they'll have unique splash guards uh, under uh, behind those as well you're going to get on the side uh, this unique running board as well so this ford raptor running board so those uh running boards the rock rails with running boards so those can come off um and uh, so they should be attached to where you can be able to take those off if you need to uh, we do have uh, of course uh, black mirror caps on here uh, you will see as part of the lux and high package there's a over here on the side there's gonna be a spotlight mirror on both sides as well as led security approach lamps so it's gonna light up the ground beside you so that's uh unique uh, to this because uh, again and that's part of that lux package power and heated mirror also and uh, does have the side marker as well on the side of those mirrors and we'll have the bliss with crash after alert so blind spot information system if there's someone in your blind spot it's going to light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time also as you're backing up cross path uh, uh cross traffic alert someone crosses your path it's going to use a series of tones you need to not back up uh puts a also lights up the productivity screen and then on the backup camera you can see a line going across shows you which way they're coming from and going to uh, black uh, door handles as well. So molded in black door handles for this uh, intelligent uh, two door intelligent access. That means you put that key fob in your pocket. Just put your hands in a door handle. It's got I make unlock the vehicle. When you get out, press the ridges on the door and it'll lock it up. And it does the same thing for the lift gate in the back. Keyless entry remote as well. And it'll also have the remote start on the keyless entry. So you can remote start it when you're close enough proximity there. Uh, you will have a hard top, so it's a carbonized gray molded in hard top is standard equipment on these. Uh, privacy glass in the back window, back glass, uh, or quarter window and back glass. Uh, and the two pieces up here will come off. Um, so, uh, those can uh, be removed as well as the piece above the second row can be removed too. Sound deadening headliner as well with additional sound deadening materials too, so um, that'll help with that. And then that's part of that Lux and High package. And then... Um, yeah, easy fuel capless filler door, so no cap to worry about. Lean behind, just press that, open the door up, and allow you to get in there. No cap to worry about. Lean behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. On the back glass, that does flip open once you open the swing gate, and it's going to have a, a rear defrost back there with rear wiper and washer. Um, and then you do have the brake light is unique to the Raptor. It's much wider, longer. Of course, it sits higher as well. You're going to have a full-size spare with that 37-inch tire on the back. And so it does have the different lift gate support back there as well to help with that weight. You'll have the Raptor badging on the back. LED taillights that are unique to the Raptor. I love the look of these. Uh, so unique LED taillights back here. Two tow hooks on the back back here, one on each side. It's going to come standard with your trailer tow package. Um, upgraded trailer tow package. Uh for this one here with the seven pin and four pin wiring trailer tra trailer sway control as well and the rear bumper is going to be a steel rear bumper as well powder coated for that um, reverse sensing system so you can be able to as you're backing up it's going to alert you just like the front one and you're going to have a rear view camera actually that's part of the 360 degree camera with the, the ones underneath the mirrors so you can see all the way around you and also rear cargo area lights also power point inside too and you get cargo area protector standard equipment on this too so and then moving to the interior go to that so that on the interior here we do have the unique raptor interior so dedicated to that uh, you'll see a different design and everything uh your dash is different you got orange accents in here as well and everything illuminated entry so that's going to light up up here uh, light up there and you have footwell uh, ambient lighting as well 
rubberized flooring with a washout interior with drain plugs as well. Unique floor liners, uh, front and rear that are Raptor branded for those. Marine grade vinyl bucket seats is going to be standard equipment with six way manual and passenger. That means uh, it'll go forward and back, up and down with this lever, and then the backrest too. And then front heated seats. So the driver and front passenger have heated seats. And second row is going to be a 60 40 split bench seat. So you can see how that reclines back as well. Uh, doesn't show an armrest, but there is an armrest uh, with two cup holders for beverages in there. Um, Back side of those front seats is going to have the Molly uh, strap system as well for that. And you do get the latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children. So you can securely anchor those car seats down into those boosters, whether it be front or rear facing car seats. If it's a front facing car seat, it's also the latches behind that you can strap those to. So it's not going to go forward on you. Now, moving forward, you will have a great look to the dash there. As you can see, power door locks are going to be right there on the door. Uh, we also do have for this, the instrument cluster is going to be upgraded. As you can see, a full color digital screen. It's 12-inch screen across there instead of the all the others get like an 8-inch screen. Uh, so really unique look there. Uh, steering column, manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So you just pull the lever underneath. It'll go up and down, forward and back. You do have the sport leather heated steering wheel with the paddle shifters. Uh, so that way, a uh, nice uh, upgraded steering wheel there for you with the Raptor on the bottom of that and the orange uh, center uh, line up there. Uh, we do also have adaptive cruise control on this. So it'll have, a, uh, because it has the high lux package, you get adaptive cruise. Uh, and so that way, if you're going slower than somebody in front of you, it'll slow you down to go their speed. When you pass them, you'll resume. So adaptive cruise is part of that lux package in the past. Uh, also gets evasive steering assist with that too. So if you can't stop in time, you need to avoid them. It'll help assist in that steering. Uh, that is something you can activate and deactivate in your uh, settings screen. And you get the lane keeping system too. So lane keeping will help keep you in your lane. So it has an alert function and an um, aid function. The alert function, it'll let you leave your lane. But when you do leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel. The aid system will help keep you in your lane. So it'll go to that line and try to keep you in your lane. So if you use them together, together it'll still vibrate the steering when you get to the line, but then keep you in your lane. And then you do have the driver alert feature that's going to alert you if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often. We do have push button start right, that's located right back here, so you don't have to get the keys uh, don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start the vehicle. Dual zone climate control, so the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures there. Um, that's a nice benefit, so that if you have you know sun coming in one side or another, then um, then that keeps everybody happy. They can adjust it for their side. Bino audio sound system with 10 speakers, including a subwoofer. Again, some features off of that, that high and lux package here. Sirius XM satellite radio with a 360L with those new listener profiles. Also, 12-inch touchscreen as standard equipment for this year on all vehicles. With the Sync 4 with the enhanced voice recognition system with the wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. 911 Assist, information on demand, as well as uh, the digital owner's manual. And you get navigation for one year of service as well for that. So it's going to be included. Now let's go to the 360 view here. And then if you look up, we do have auxiliary switches or standard equipment. So six aux switches there. Um, so you can uh, program those pre-wired into the engine bay. So you can hook those up there. And I believe those the lights on the rigid lights are not programmed into these, but to the fog lights instead. Uh, and so these should be all six free to use. Somebody actually let me know on wild track video the other day uh on one of those with the or the everglades with the winch that is not programmed into those wires so um assuming it's the same way one does with this with the raptor also we have auto dimming rear view mirror so you don't have a lever to worry about uh, it's gonna automatically dim that mirror if the cars come behind you with those bright lights um also we do have universal garage openers on the visor up here so different transmitters and such can be programmed you have the visors that can flip down with illuminated vanity mirrors as well there and then uh, I think that's it for that. And then down here, your hero switches, you're going to be your um, hazard as well as your traction control, front and rear differential or rear lockers there, and your trail uh, your trail turn assist as well is up there too. So there you go. And then um, down in here in the console, you're going to have some unique Raptor badging down in here. You're going to have a media hub with a USB A and C port down there. You also get a USB A and C port on the dashboard too. So it's going to be located up there to be able to charge those GoPros and different things like that. 
Um, and then, of course, you're going to see the different look for your Raptor for your goat mode switch there. Uh, you'll see also that throughout the dash and interior. On front of the console, you're going to have your switches for your windows, power windows, and your power mirror. On the back of the console, it's going to switch for the, those in the rear for their windows. Also, a USB A and um, C port, as well as your um, outlet should be back there, too. And then you also do get wireless charging pad. Should be located down in there. And then check out the console. It does have the Raptor uh, kind of badging in there and that, too. Also, with this, uh, you're going to get the trail, um, the Ford Pass Connect, as well as your Bronco Trail app. So, the Trail app is exclusive to Ford. Uh, no other manufacturer has a Trail app for them. So, you can find those different trails. You can also use that on the trails, too. And then your Ford Pass Connect allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. Free app you download, connect your vehicle up. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times. Locate your vehicle, see the fuel you have in the vehicle, even your tire pressure all through that app, which is really nice to have. Uh, and that's going to be included. And you're going to get a toolkit with this vehicle, too. So that way you can be able to take those doors off, the top off and everything with that toolkit. So, all right, that's all that except for let's talk about paint colors for a second before we move on. Uh, so this we do have the shelter green is a new color for this year that is available. Uh, so that's what we've been using in this video here. And for that, too, we do have the shadow um, black is also available. There you go. Oxford white is available. Let's see what that looks like. We do have the cactus gray. Also looks good in this iconic silver. We also have hot pepper red tinted metallic. That is an extra four ninety five for that one because that has a tinted clear coat to it velocity blue and we also do have the azure gray metallic that is a tri coat three coats of paint for that so it's a little extra that it's a thousand dollars extra for that paint color if you want that one so we'll go back to our shelter green that is also available with no extra cost for that color uh and that's a that's a nice color only available in your raptor by the way for that color so now let's talk about some different packages and first let's kind of go through the packages that are already included so as we mentioned for this year, the high end Lux package or the high Lux package is standard equipment on the Raptor for this year. So those are already available. You also get Ford Pass, Ford Copilot 360. As we mentioned, also you're getting a tow package already included. Uh, it's an upgraded tow package for the Raptor. So, and then, but there are a couple other new packages. And this first one to talk about is the new package for this year Raptor Code Orange Appearance Package. Um, late availability so it will not be available ordered at the launch or right now even uh, but it'll be a late availability item 24.95 for that um so we're gonna here let's let's add this and uh so this in here is saying it's not available with the hot pepper red by the way for you and also not available with the um the optional uh the, the tire that comes with this because it's get it gets its own um, combination there for this and so uh, this in here uh, does have you know let me just go through let me just do this so there you go that's an upgrade for that uh, so you can kind of see what that looks like uh, so this in here is going to get you the code orange uh, accent in the inch here uh, so you know what I'm going to go I'm going to go I know I just came out of that but it came back go back so you get the code orange accents for your seat belts and uh, uh, that's going to be included in that so that's going to be a nice addition so that's going to already be included in this also uh, does have, when you click back out of this, let's move this around, you're gonna notice the code orange accents for your tow hooks on the front, the orange accents on your beadlock rims as well. That's gonna get this. So that's gonna be included in there too. And then also you're gonna get the code orange graphics. So if you look at the side, you'll notice not only the graphics go on the side, like the graphics package, the, the optional one does, it goes up onto the side of the window too. So a lot of people are liking that. Looks real sharp on there. Um, let's see if I can get a good image of the front. Uh, also on the hood, you're going to get that graphics over it here. So this will take place of the other graphics package, which is optional. Uh, but this is a cool little upgrade and a nice one. You'll also get uh, the, the wheel, as we mentioned, is going to be a beadlock wheel now. So 17-inch uh, dark charcoal, um, dark gray alloy painted wheel with the beadlock forged wheel. And this one's going to get its own uh, tire. It says 37 by 12 and a half R17 all-terrain tire. Um, so it does say, 
as well as your spare tire. So um, I believe it's similar, but it's just it's wording it with this anyway. So there you go. That package is available again, $24.95 for that package. We're going to unselect that. Uh, another package that's available, they consider a package, but really it's um, – just an option that's listed on the order guide. It's not in the packages area. And then is the Raptor uh, graphics package. It's $1,075. And this in here is going to give you those graphics. Let's see if it goes. There we go. So the graphics will look a little different. You're going to see it on the hood up here. So you're going to have the, it's the more of gray accent on this and silver uh, colors there. And then on the side of the, of, the um, of it as well. So let's look at it this way. We'll have Raptor wording in there, so but you'll you'll notice it doesn't go up in the glass like the code orange one does. So those are different graphics if you want that instead of the code orange. Uh, that way it keeps your wheels and everything and uh, does not upgrade your interior either. So that is also uh, available for you. All right, now moving down to standalone options down here. Of course, this wheel is not a standalone option. It is part of that package, and if you select it, it'll actually ask you to select the whole package. Uh, moving on down, uh, we do have uh, these other extra options, though. We do have front license plate brackets, so if you live in a state that does not require front license plate, you'll want to add that as optional equipment, and then the dealer will install it free of charge for you. It's a no-cost option, though. Uh, wheel lock kit, this is a dealer-installed option, so if you do get this, it'll the vehicle will be shipped to the dealer, and they'll install it, uh, so it's going to replace uh, your uh, one of the lug nuts off each of your wheels, including your spare, with the locking one. Uh, so that is available for you. You can also get that through Ford Accessories later. Engine block heater, that is a factory installed option. So it's $100 for that. And if you live in a cold weather state, you might want that so that you can start your vehicle up in the wintertime, uh, especially for those out there that this is their daily driver. So there you go. Uh, moving down to some interior options. Uh, now, we do have a couple options for interior colors. We do have black onyx here. And we do also have this other uh, one that gives you the leather seats so $24.95 you upgrade to leather seats uh so that's an option for you to go with the, with the leather um it is and here it's mentioning two different color uh black onyx uh leather seats as well as a blue with a black onyx but i do not see oh there we go there it is so we have those both those different whoa there you go there's those options if you want that i had forgotten about that from last year so there you go if you want the blue with the black onyx that's what that might, might might look like. So there you go. Let's go back to black. Um, and then, uh, so there's your options right there for you. Uh, so go from your vinyl to your leather seats there. If you do get the leather seat, it will get you um, the adds a 10-way power driver's seat and eight-way uh, front passenger seat. Uh, so there you go. And that's uh, available. Oh, and they also mentioned this is where you get your cup holders. Uh, and it says, and second row armrest with the two beverage holders. Um, so now just showing it on there. So maybe you have to have leather for that. So not available with the, with the vinyl. Uh, I don't know. I've seen it on some of the other models. So I assumed it would be on this one, but may have to go to the leather to get that. So, um, that might be a correction and error on my part from earlier. So there you go. Moving on down, we do have the, uh, off-road assistance kit that is uh, 210. Now that is a, uh, option. It's a, uh, the dealer would put that in your vehicle for you when the vehicle gets there. So it's a dealer installed option is what they'd call that into your carbon fiber package. Uh, so this in here is going to upgrade and get you some carbon fiber in the vehicle. So 1725 gets your grab handles, steering wheel bezel, and your gear shift knob uh, will be a carbon fiber. So that is also something that can be added if you'd like to. Uh, we do also have the storage bags for the uh, front two panels and your door. So if you want the door storage bags, you'd want to make sure you get this option. It's $350 for this option. Um, and that is a Ford accessory that we come with your vehicle when it comes to the dealer. We do have the code orange accent seat belts. So if you do not get the carbon fiber or not do not get the code orange appearance package, then you can add these seat belts for that. So you can see them in conjunction in here with the blue um, interior uh, seats there. So it looks a little bit different. I think the image earlier what we saw with the blue interior wasn't 100% accurate. It wasn't like it looks like on here. Uh, but there you go, code orange seat belts, as you can see with that. Uh, so again, that would not be an option if you get the code orange appearance package. So keep that in mind. Um, we also do have the storage bag for the second row panel. So that would be if you um, to be able to store that second row. It's one full piece that goes over the second row seat. Uh, and so you can get the bag for that. And that that would be a dealer installed option. It would be shipped to the dealer and the dealership would put it in your vehicle upon delivery. And uh, that's all it's showing. Um, so there you go. I also have an option here 
uh, that's not available to the code orange appearance package. And that's the low gloss black high coverage fender flares. So if you want the black fender flares, for those of you that did like that, um, the order guide is showing that as an option. I did not see it as an option um, in the exterior features anywhere. Somebody might correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, there they are right there. So it's no cost option, it looks like, um, but you can go to that option if you want. So I did miss that earlier. So there you go. Uh, I think that covers all of our options now. So there you go. Um, yeah, so there you go. Raptor, again, um, you know, Raptor is a pretty cool vehicle, and um, it is a very limited production run. Uh, should be, you know, pretty limited to, you know, even the Everglades and the Heritage Edition. And because uh, they only do so many. And because of that, dealers only get a select number of allocations. Those allocations are different from their allocation system for their other uh, other vehicles. And so you'll need to work with the dealership uh, to put that order in and and also wait for that dealership to get an allocation for that to be scheduled. So that's usually how that would work. Still can put the order in with that dealer. But again, you know, for instance, if they say they have two or three Raptor orders in there and uh, they don't have an allocation yet, you'll have to wait until, you know, if you're third in line, you may have to wait until they, they've received a third allocation for that to get scheduled for a production date. That's usually how that works. So, and because of that, normally you see some dealers will go a little bit, will go over MSRP on that. Um, and so that's usually generally how that works. So if you do want to put an order, go to your good local dealership to get, get that order put in there for you. Um, do make sure they know a little bit about price protection. Price protection means that they're going to protect the price from when you ordered it. So if the price goes up, like we've actually seen that happen a lot for this year uh, on the Raptor, uh, almost $20,000 of, of, of upgrades and prices, uh, price increases, uh, you'd be protected to the price it was when you ordered the vehicle. So that's why instead of having the dealership put a stock order in, you'd want to put that retail order because then it'll be pr protected to that price. So, and that's based off of what they price the vehicle. So, you know, if the dealership's planning to market up 5,000 over MSRP, the MSRP goes up, they should still stick to that $5,000 over um, the original MSRP they mentioned uh, because the Ford will reimburse them the difference of that. So you may want to make sure you ask the dealership a little bit about that. Uh, we will honor all price protection and such like that. Also, maybe ask them what else they're going to add to their vehicle price. Uh, some Someone will add a, a paint protection or something like that to their price. Um, and so you might want to make sure you have that all figured out and, and ahead of time. You don't want to get surprises when the, that vehicle comes in. Have them uh, do an order sheet as well as a buyer's order so you kind of know and have that all in writing with them to sign it so that you know that they're going to stick to that pricing when that vehicle comes in. I will tell you that we are um, taking orders on Raptors. We actually have, like I said, a 23 that just got scheduled uh, or is getting scheduled this next month, for, uh, 23 model year. So we'll get allocations. We usually get about one a month uh, on the Raptors, sometimes more. We, we, we got three last month, so you never know uh, how many we're going to get. So we can place those orders. I think we only have like maybe one or two Raptor orders in our system for 24 right now. Uh, so we can place that order for you if you want and uh, put you in line for when we get allocations. Uh, we usually do our pricing is we usually do whatever our market value is. As that price comes down, then we'll reduce our price. So we don't always stick to a certain price over MSRP, um, you know, depending on what it is at the time, but we typically will be over MSRP. Our F-150 Raptors were at MSRP right now, but they've been out for a little while. Uh, you know, Raptor 37s, we are over MSRP uh, for those on F-150. So the same way with the Raptor, uh, as we see, well, we adjust it based on the market price. So just so that you know that and uh, be very upfront and transparent with all of our customers. Um, we are doing a YouTube special though. You get, if you uh, order with us, if you uh, finance a vehicle with us, then we will pay up to thousand dollars of the shipping cost um, for you. Or if you want to travel in, we'll pay a thousand dollars of your travel expenses. Uh, so that's pretty cool to, to be able to do one of those two things for you. If that's what you want to do and you don't live close to us. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. This finishes up our Raptor information uh, videos here uh, for our different complete guide videos. We put these all in one playlist. So check those out. If you want to see some of the others in there, thank you for watching. If you've watched all these, I appreciate it. And uh, thank you. And hopefully the biggest thing is that you find, be able to put that, that Bronco order in for you. And uh, hopefully you can get a Bronco Raptor if you're wanting one of those. Um, but thank you for watching. Smash that like button. I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified the next time I have another video uploads to the channel. As we do more and more videos like this, you may want those as well. Until the next video, stay positive. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. And we'll see you in the next video.